What is up, Hash Nation? We've all been waiting for it, and it has arrived. The Ledger Nano X hardware wallet is officially in my hands, and we're gonna review it today. Let's hash it out. The Ledger Nano X, the new flagship device for the French company Ledger, was intended to be the flagship replacement for the Ledger Nano S hardware wallet that many of you may have, many of you have probably heard of. Now, without wasting any time, right off the bat, the Ledger Nano X was built to be an improvement over that Ledger Nano S. And one of the main ways that it is improving upon it right out of the gates is by providing you the ability to install up to 100 different apps on the Ledger Nano X device as opposed to the only 10 or so apps that you'd be able to get onto the Ledger Nano S based on the hardware constraints that they had on that device. That was one of the things that many people complained about on the Ledger Nano S that's been fixed on this new device. Furthermore, the Ledger Nano X is designed to be a mobile wallet. So it has Bluetooth connectivity that allows you to connect your Ledger Nano X device over to your smartphone with a Ledger Live mobile app. This means that on your smartphone, you can then receive and send cryptocurrencies and sign those transactions with your Ledger Nano X. After initial testing, I actually really like the mobile app and it works pretty darn well considering it's in its really early stages in its release. The mobile app released in about March of 2019 and the hardware wallet today in May of 2019 works perfectly with that application. Did my initial setup today and we'll go over that at the end of this video. Of course, for those of you who don't want Bluetooth at all, the Ledger Nano X still works just fine with your good old PC and you can disable Bluetooth connections in the settings. So for anyone who is concerned about Bluetooth in this device, it can be turned off. That's obviously a positive thing if you just wanna leave it at home and use it on your computer with the traditional Ledger Live desktop application. Now moving into the physical design of the Ledger Nano X hardware wallet, it is built to be a little bit bigger and heavier than the Ledger Nano S wallet. And you can see that in the side-by-side -side video right here. Now this increase in size is probably due to the internal battery and the Bluetooth hardware that is required for this device. And that accounts for the larger size and heavier weight in comparison to the Ledger Nano S. Now to me, in my hand, the Ledger Nano X definitely feels like an upgrade both aesthetically as well as in terms of the overall build quality and feel. And one of my only complaints in terms of the physical build of the device is that when you're holding it in your hand and you're operating it, if you aren't supporting the metal side of the device, it is a little bit loose on the frame and it can slide down a little bit doesn't get in the way of operation, but I wish that that connection were a little more sturdy. Now to walk you through the physical attributes of the device, let's check that out right now. So inside of the device, you have a 100 milliamp hour or ma battery that's used to operate on the go. You also have a two button construction, so one silver button and one black button that replace the top side buttons that were on the Ledger Nano S. While these buttons are a lot nicer in terms of the feel and they are better than the Ledger Nano S, still not perfect if you have large hands like I do. On the Ledger Nano X, there's also a USB Type-C connector and there is an OLED display on the very front, which is larger than the Ledger Nano S. Now on the inside of the device, the chipsets that hold the keys and allow you to sign are two secure elements. Those are in there and those are certified in CCEAL 5 Plus. Again, overall, I feel like this is definitely a solid evolution of what the Ledger Nano S looked like in terms of the design pattern, but it's also a market improvement across the board, in my humble opinion, after using it for the entirety of today and yesterday. So let's show it off a little bit. Check it out. Next up, I wanna show you how to get this whole wallet set up in the first place if you're just now getting one. And I also wanna walk you through the mobile app and show you what the experience is like. But really quickly, if you do wanna pick up a Ledger Nano X hardware wallet for yourself, you can follow the links in the description and the comments down below and get one for yourself for 119 US dollars. That price includes free shipping and there is completely free returns, no questions asked. 
Now I always recommend getting hardware wallets directly from the source, so in this case, the Ledger website, because then you can guarantee that they have not been tampered with and they have not been manufactured as a man in the middle attack. Oh, and the best part is you can even pay with crypto on the Ledger website, so that's a positive thing. So like I said, now that we've discussed the physical design of the device and some of the features, let's walk through the setup process and the mobile app itself. So guys, getting started right here with the Ledger Nano X. If you go ahead and open up your device, you're gonna go ahead and wanna click through these menu options and select set up new device. From there, you're gonna wanna create a four to eight digit pin and usually eight digits is always better, but remember you're gonna have to type this in every time you enter your device. From there, then you're gonna be prompted to write down your 24 word seed phrase. And after that, you're gonna to have to confirm that seed phrase. The confirmation process can be a little bit tedious because you do have to enter every single word in that 24 word seed phrase, not using the keyboard, but selecting which one it is. Then from there, you're gonna to wanna to connect your Bluetooth to your smartphone app for the Ledger Live app to complete other setup processes like adding accounts. You can also do this on the computer if you don't want to use your phone or the mobile app. From there, then you're going to add apps and accounts over to your Ledger Live and your Ledger Nano X. Now guys, I wanted to show you how to get your mobile app and your Ledger Nano X device paired. So you can use Bluetooth, you see it in the list here, and you can initiate the pairing process. It's gonna ask you to confirm on both sides, both on your Ledger and on your mobile app. So make sure you confirm on both ends. Once you've done that, your app should pick it up and realize that everything is connected up as it's supposed to, and you'll see this loading screen here. Once successful, you will have to confirm like you just saw just a second ago, and you'll get a success message that you're paired successfully. From here, you can then name your device Mental note, you cannot use apostrophes in that name, so I, I had to change it here. Once you save that name, it's gonna ask you to confirm that again on your Ledger device. Anytime you write data or you're pulling data from your Ledger device, you're gonna have to confirm it. That's just for security purposes. From there, you're gonna to have to create a password. And this password is really there to just protect your app with one extra layer of security when you log in to try and do things, it's gonna ask you for that password. You can also set up Face ID if you are on an iOS device or you can set up another biometric if you're on Android. From here, there are just a handful of other settings you can set up. You can turn off analytics and you can turn off bugs and error reporting. You can pretty much just customize this how you want it to look, just showing you here what your options are and you'll get this final success message. You're all connected and paired up and ready to go. Now, of course, if you wanna use an app on your device, you have to install it first. So here we're installing the Bitcoin app in the manager tab at the bottom here. So you'll see it's processing. I sped it up just so that you can see what I mean without having to wait for the entire thing to load from scratch. But here we're just installing the Bitcoin app. You can also do the same thing for Ethereum, just so you can see this stuff runs pretty quickly. I think it probably took around 30 seconds or maybe 20 seconds to install each of these apps. Let's open up the Bitcoin app just to show you what it looks like on the inside. It takes a second for it to sync up over Bluetooth after the, it says the application is ready. And then it'll open up and it'll synchronize the wallet. It takes far less time to open up this app the second time. The first time it's synchronizing in the background before the screen changes. So right here, it's synchronizing your accounts from your seed key and it is creating you that one wallet address to start with. You can create more later on if you want to. So from here, again, we can show we wanna receive, pick the device you want, and you're gonna to have to confirm on your Ledger Nano X device. 
just like any other time. And you see here, this is what the address looks like when you wanna confirm on screen. And yeah, this is pretty much what the user interface looks like for receiving crypto. Pretty awesome device, guys, and I'm really excited to use this more. So overall, I think the Ledger Nano X, in my experience, has been a really solid hardware wallet and a great addition to the Ledger family of devices. Now, I will say that it is a great improvement over the Ledger Nano S in terms of user experience in my perspective. Now, I must tell you that there is a caveat here. One of the Ledger Nano S features that really bothered me was that the firmware update process was far from perfect. The updates took forever. They a lot of times didn't work at all. People had all sorts of issues. And quite frankly, one of the most popular videos on my channel early on were actually videos that I made to help people fix their Ledger Nano S device. So that has to be fixed with the Ledger Nano X. And I can't truly say that that will have been fixed, although I expect they probably have considering how many people were upset about it. So when the next firmware update comes out for the Ledger Nano X, I will definitely share my experience, but fingers crossed that that's been fixed. And finally, I will be doing my own personal penetration testing or vulnerability testing for the Bluetooth connectivity feature on the Ledger Nano X. So I'll try and simulate man in the middle attacks. I'll just try and break it. So I'm gonna try and steal my own information so that I can test and share my results with you. But based on my initial tests for Bluetooth connectivity in the first place, it does require physical approval on your Ledger Nano X device if you wanna to connect to it. So right off the bat there, you'd have to know your pin and approve it physically. So if a hacker didn't have your physical device or didn't know your pin, they couldn't really get into it anyway using Bluetooth. So that's positive, but I'm gonna do all that testing and I'll let you guys know what I find. For me, setup was really easy and I'm probably going to use this as my daily driver wallet. I can use my Ledger Nano X to carry around, connect to my smartphone and trade on the daily. While my long-term holding of cryptocurrency will probably occur on the BC Vault and I'll link that video above if you haven't seen that. BC Vault is fantastic for storing super long-term so that's gonna be my pair. Ledger Nano X for my daily use, BC Vault for my long-term hodling. I wanna know what you think in the comments below. Are you gonna buy Ledger Nano X? Do you like the Ledger Nano X? What are you thinking about this after the review? Definitely let me know. And with that, guys, please do not hesitate to watch another one of my videos. I've got some cool ones right here and right here on the screen for you to click. Thank you so much for all the time you spend on my content. Really appreciate you. Cheers.